Alright everybody, hail and welcome to another video review of Norseblood.com's Norse Crate. It's a uh, monthly, well not monthly, but it's like every couple of months they'll, they'll send you uh, some really cool stuff. I've done a couple of videos already. You can check them out at the end of this video and you can also check them out in the annotated cards that are going to be right up here as we go. Uh, but anyways guys, my name is Jesse. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to Midgard Musings. I usually have uh, weekly videos that I upload every Sunday night uh, covering various topics of Norse heathenry, various things, kind of uh, things that may strike my interest or fancy at the time, as well as some um, playlist uh, subject matter that is dedicated to specific things. You can check all that stuff out um, on my channel at your convenience, but today is dedicated to Norseblood.com. I do reviews uh, for them, wonderful company. Uh, like I said, check out all the other videos that I've already done about some of their stuff. But their subscription service um, that you can subscribe to, um, details about all that is down in the description. So be, please be sure to uh, check out all that information down below. If you like these videos and you want to see more of them, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you don't want to miss anything, click the bell for notifications and you'll be notified every time I upload new content. So guys, if you're not familiar uh, with Norseblood.com, like I said, they do have a lot of different merchandise for sale, but they also have a subscription-based uh, service, a subscription service where you um, pay a different amount uh, for how frequently you want them. They will send you crates every two months. Uh, they will send you, if you don't want to do that, you can opt for a uh, every six months, or you can do a once a year uh, type, of, type of thing. Um, but their two month, every two month subscription, which, uh, which I have coming to me, um, sends gets a lot of great stuff sent to us. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the month of May uh, crate. So the crates are always shipped out in boxes just like this. Okay, they're glossy laminated cardboard boxes. Talked about them before. And they're always the same. And then their pamphlets, which we won't go into right just yet, have their contact information on the back. Tells you this is the month of May and the year. And then inside the pamphlet, it tells you what you got. But we're going to go ahead and talk about those things now. Uh, in the past, they've usually sent out three items. Then they've gone and bumped it up to anywhere between four to five items. I believe March's crate uh, had five items included in it. And this month's crate, the month of May, uh, has four items. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm going to go and kind of start with the thing that I think is the least cool, and I'm going to go to the, the most cool item, okay? Kind of go work our way from the bottom up. Not that anything that they send isn't cool, um, but we're just kind of, this is just my opinion on it, okay? So, so bear that in mind. All right, so first item that we're going to review today are some... Uh, just a regular Ziploc bag of pencils and an eraser. And they are really good quality um, professional drawing pencils, okay? And I'm not exactly sure how we'll do this. This is just a regular standard eraser. But let me just go ahead and see if I can show you guys a little bit of what they've got going on. All right. They are all lead pencils for drawing. It includes a pencil sharpener, just a handheld pencil sharpener with different sizes, all right, to get a finer point or, or a less than finer point. And um, so you've got a whole bunch of them, guys. They are, um, let's go ahead and put this pencil sharpener back in the bag, but I'm going to kind of start out by showing you as best I can. There goes one of them, but anyways, <laughs> they are various thicknesses, shapes, tips, um, already sharpened and stuff to kind of give you an idea uh, of the various ones that you can work. Hopefully you can see, um, but you got a bunch of them, you know. They're not erasers at the end, of course, because you have the handheld eraser. So there you go. You got some. If you're an artist, you like uh, drawing with pencils. You got a nice kit of professional drawing pencils. I myself am not an artist. Although, I do wood burnings and stuff like that, so these actually may come in handy on some of the stencils and whatnot that I use. 
All right, so the next one I think that we're going to do is this. The great thing about Norseblood.com, guys, or Norseblood in general, just let me let me kind of pause for a minute. Um, the, the great thing that I think uh, that this company offers is diversity in products, okay? You never, like, if you subscribe to their services, you're never gonna get just the same thing or the same types of things. Um, over the last, you know, several uh, crates that I've gotten, um, they've sent really cool stuff and it's always been a little bit different than the last. You usually will get some jewelry. Um, this month, there's, there's one particular thing in here that I'm really excited about, but here we go, guys. Here's a really neat leather bag. It has Viking on it. It's got the uh, Balknut and Elder Fugark runes going around. Let me show you guys there. And it's a leather bag, okay? And what do we have inside? Stainless steel jewelry, of course. Nothing but the best from Norse Blood. It's always stainless steel. And here we have a really attractive pendant necklace. Stainless steel, of course, like I said. All right, and we have a spearhead, <clears throat> excuse me, a spearhead necklace, okay? And uh, on the front is a Volknut emblem. And so this is listed on their pamphlet as the Gungnir spearhead pendant, right? Gungnir being the weapon of Odin, the spear that was made for him by the dwarves, you know? And a really thick stainless steel chain. So if you are all about some really heavy duty, sturdy jewelry, um, and love the Odin aesthetic, Gungnir spearhead, it's got really neat, like, weathered, uh, kind of battle worn appearance all the way around both front and back you know it's got really nice texture good weight and uh, like I said it comes in this really neat bag great item for yourself gift for a loved one what have you love this piece now the next cool item is the third item I had a hard time deciding whether this was my most favorite item or the last item that I'm going to show you but this one comes in a really close second we have a cloth pouch with again the uh, Volknut and Elder Fudark runes around. Very common aesthetic in uh, also true and you know Norse heathenry, that type of thing. And inside, what do you think is in it? Can you guess? A little bit of rattling, a little bit of shaking. All right, really, really pretty obsidian stone runes. Okay, that's Urus. Dagas. So we got obsidian stone rune stones. They are a bit small, but they are great for traveling, um, casting, you know. You can cast them, do your, do your rune readings, rune draws. Here's uh, Feu. All right, so it's a black uh, precious stone and with a gold. Um, they are etched, okay, so they, they, there is texture to there. They're not just painted on. Um, but they are a gold painted etched rune in each, okay? There's Ansus. All right, so you got the full 24 Elder Food Art runes uh, in a nice, nice bag that you can carry them in. Really neat. Love this item. Really, really love this item. So this makes a good, you know, if, if you are interested in, in learning the runes, now you've got a, a rune set that you can work with, or if you know somebody that you want to gift a set to, you can do that as well. Um, so that's great. And then finally, guys, I, I, this is probably my favoriteest item in this crate um, because I know how much the how much heathenry is about you know studying and, and learning and doing your homework. Right? It's a religion or a faith or a pathway, whatever you want to call it, uh, of homework. That's what you're told constantly. And what better way to document your homework, to document your notes, keep track of things, than with this beautiful leather notebook, right? Look at this, guys. You got the, you see how the light is able to capture it. But on the front here, you've got the World Tree Yggdrasil, right? And then you got this really nifty 
latch that opens it up and inside is a leather bound all the all the pages are blank you know okay um, not they're not indexed they're not marked in any way so you can do so many things with this you can go in here and you can you know do drawings you can document your your studies I'm out of the camera <laughs> you can document your studies make notes um, books like this guys I love these books I love them because they, they are they, they're handcrafted like you can tell like somebody spent time a machine didn't do this like this is hand bound uh, or if a machine did have its part of it a person was operating it's not like a robot type of thing right um, really cool you know not work around the bottom this Yggdrasil graphic beautiful beautiful handiwork and again it's it's, it's pure leather it's, it smells great looks great um, this would make a wonderful addition to your you know bookshelf your your, your your own heathen workings anything that you do uh, a lot of pagans have like you know they call them spell books book of shadows whatever um, that's a bit more wicked but anyways love this piece well done Norse blood on May's Norse crate so guys please uh, take a moment to go down into the uh, description of the video check out the website links for Norse blood Check out their Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Everything is going to be down in the description. And if you like what you see from Norse Blood, go ahead and sign up for their uh, crate services. Like I said, all the information is down in the description. So that does it for me today on the Norse Crate month of May uh, review. Loved it. Um, again, I was really happy with the book, the runes, that, that Gungnir uh, spear necklace, spearhead necklace is, is, is pretty awesome. And um, I may have some some fun with the pencils as well. Uh, so guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, it's okay. I've got tough skin, give it a thumbs down. Let me know in the comments what you think. Check out norsebud.com. If you don't wanna miss any more videos from me on this channel, all you gotta do is subscribe. You'll see all that in the end screen or you can just click right down here. And then if you don't wanna miss a video, click the bell for notifications. So thank you all so much for supporting Midgard Musings. Check out Norseblood. Dot com. Subscribe to their stuff if you like it. Hail, and I'll see you all in the next video.